guys and welcome back to my channel as you can see this setup's a bit different today i'm filming in front of my drawing desk for those of you who don't know i am an art student i'm studying art at university so today i'm going to be doing 10 art student problems I'm sh these are problems that i've faced myself and i'm sure many of my friends have faced as well let's see let's just Problem number one, telling people you were studying art. Like, there's this thing around art that like, it's not something that you should be studying. It's good for just a hobby. Like, have you ever met somebody that's going to school or maybe going to the same school as you and you're just like, what are you studying? And they're just like, oh, I'm studying to be a near brain surgeon. What are you studying? I'm studying art like see it's like an apprehension that you get for like saying it like for me I'm just like oh I'm studying art like I love it so you know art's great it's fun to embrace yourself and there's just so many paths that you can take and I'm ranting now so I'm gonna just stop problem number two have finishing waiting till last minute to finish your projects, your art projects. Problem number three, pulling all nighter to finish an art project versus actually spending about the amount of time you're supposed to on the art project. That art assignment was hard, wasn't it? How long did it take you to do that? Yeah, it really was. This, uh, I did it last night. Pulled an all nighter. Your own looks good too. How long did it take you to do that? It took me three weeks. Problem number four. The cost of art supplies. Do you know how much art supplies cost on a daily? Like you have to pay for your own me mediums. Like if you're doing painting, you have to pay for paint. If you're sketchy, you have to pay for your pencils, you have to pay for your books, you have to pay for your canvas, you have to pay for, if you're doing sculpting, you have to pay for the materials that you're sculpting with. Like, there's just so much money involved with just taking art courses. Like, what? Probably 4.5 sketchbook syndrome slash blank page syndrome or blank canvas syndrome. If you guys are artists, you know what I mean. Like, let me show you. Okay, exhibit A, sketchbook syndrome. Now this sketchbook cost about $10. It's a really good sketchbook. I just got lipstick all over it. It's a really good sketchbook. Problem is, it's just so pretty and so blank that I don't want to sketch in it. I feel like I'm going to ruin it. Like, and that's what I bought it for. Sketchbook syndrome, everybody. Problem number five. I mean, you have other subjects you need to study for, for exams and tests and stuff, but you know, you just rather draw.
Okay, number six. You can only look at your piece of work for so long until you just get absolutely fed up with it. always asking to see your work now don't get me wrong that is totally it's a phenomenal thing to have people you know wanting to see your work like every artist wants that they want people to see your work I'm talking about when you're just randomly doodling like you're just you're minding your own business doodling and then someone comes up to you oh let me see and they take it from you and you're just like well what are, you, what are you supposed to do, <laughs> like, you know? Problem eight, selling your work. Is it just me or do you grow this sort of attachment to whatever piece you make? Like, you don't want to part with it. Like, you know you're gonna get money if you sell it, but like, you just physically don't want to part with it. Like, it's a part of you. Anybody? Just me? Well, I guess that's my problem then. Problem number nine. When you're given an assignment at school with absolutely no boundaries, but you have to include something specific and, you know, you just got no inspiration. At all. I have three weeks to do this project. Let's go. Alright, so what do we have to do? You have to create a still life of anything that you want. Okay, still life, anything that I want. This shouldn't be so hard! Problem 10 is why do you get all your best ideas, I need us, I need us, that's a word now. Why do you get your best ideas 2 o'clock in the morning? Like really, you can't have came to me at 6 o'clock when I was stressing, trying to find inspiration for the project, but no, you decided to come to me 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning when I can't sleep. Okay guys, so yeah, that's it for this video. Those were 10 art student problems. I know there's student problems in general, but that was just my personal experience being an art student and studying art. Those are just some problems that I've come across. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.